Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'll be doing marginal profit. Let's get started. Now, profit is revenue minus the total cost function. And for the profit function, just remember that it is the profit a business may. Now, to find the marginal profit, we will have to differentiate the profit function, which we're going to do today. Last week, I had looked at revenue, where revenue is price times quantity. So this is just a reminder how we find revenue, the income from selling Q units. So let's look at a question. Given that demand equation for ripped jeans is P equal 450 minus Q, and the cost function is C equal 50Q minus 0.2Q square plus 400, where Q is the number of genes sold, and both P and C are expressed in dollars. Calculate the number of genes to be sold to obtain maximum profit. Then calculate the price at which this maximum profit occurs. And finally, determine the maximum profit. The first part asks to calculate the number of genes to be sold to obtain maximum profit. If you realize we weren't given the profit function and the number of genes, which is Q, we need to find it when we have not just a profit, but maximum profit. That's the key information. So what we're going to do is find Q. But for part one, we have to differentiate and we have to differentiate the profit function. We don't have the profit function. So in order to find the profit function, I have to use the information where profit is equal to revenue minus the total cost. So the number of genes represent Q and it is obtained when we have maximum profit in this question. So as I've stated, profit is equal to revenue minus the total cost. And I don't have my revenue, but I can find it because I'm given the, the price function, which is revenue is price times quantity. So I have 450 minus Q times quantity to give me my revenue function. So my revenue is 450 times Q, that's 450Q, and Q times Q, that's Q square, so I have minus Q square. So this is my revenue, and I'm going to have it here, minus my cost function, which was given in the question, that is, minus and then i will have the 50 q minus 0.2 q square plus 400 so this is my cost function after having this we are going to distribute the minus sign because we have a change of sign that's going to happen so don't forget that the subtraction sign will affect everything that falls behind it so i have 450 q minus q square and then the minus sign will affect everything here so we will have change of signs as you can see here so all the the signs behind will change now to simplify i have 450 q minus 50 q that's 400 q minus q square plus 0.2 square that's negative 0.8 Q square and then minus 400 because nothing is there to group and simplify. So this represents our profit function and to get the marginal profit, I will have to differentiate this to get 400, then two times 0.8, that's 1.6. And then we subtract 1 from the power on the q square, q square, which is 2 times minus 1, that's just q. And we differentiate minus 400, that's 0. Now, because we want the maximum profit, I have to find q, and I will 
equate this to be equal to zero. So I have 400 minus 1.6 Q equals zero. And I will be solving for Q. So carrying the 400 over the equal sign, it becomes negative. So I have minus 1.6 Q equal minus 400. Now divide both sides by negative 1.6. And this cancels, so Q is equal to, now this will change to positive, so 400 divided by 1.6 will give me 250. So that is a quantity. So that's the answer to the part that asks for the number of genes, so we have 250 genes. Now, because it's at maximum, just to test it, we differentiate the P prime one more time. And because I get a negative value, this definitely tells me that this is when I have maximum profit. Now, to answer the next part of the question, we have to calculate the price at which this maximum profit occurs. So we're given the price function, so that's what I am going to use. Price function is 450 minus Q, and Q is for 250. So I'll have 450 minus 250. So I'll have Q to be 250, and then I will have the price to be $200. So the price at which we have maximum profit is $200. Now we need to determine the maximum profit, the actual maximum profit. We have the profit function and we can find the maximum profit by using Q which is 250. Substituting Q to be 250 in the profit function. So wherever I see Q, I am replacing it with 250 and that's the quantity. So substituting, this is going to be 250 square minus 400. And now to calculate. So 400 times 250 is 100,000. And then 250 square times 0.8, that's going to give me 50,000. And then I have minus 400. So 50,000 minus 400. So doing this calculation, my answer will be $49,600. And that is the maximum profit. The next question, given the demand function for a monopolist product is P equal 2Q squared plus 10Q plus 1,000. And we're given the average cost. And we need to determine the level of output at which the product is maximized. Now, we need profit function, which is revenue minus cost function. But well, we weren't given the revenue and we weren't given the cost function, but we can find this. Revenue is price times quantity. So I will have 2Q squared plus 10Q plus 1,000. And then times Q by so that is my revenue function. Now my cost function was not given and I have average cost. So average cost is equal to the cost function divided by quantity. So to find cost function, I will multiply the average cost times quantity and that will give me the cost function. So in other words, multiplying all of this by Q will give me the cost function. And that's what I'm going to write here. So having this, I'm just going to expand here. So multiplying all of this by Q, I am going to have 2Q cube plus 10Q square plus 1000 Q. The next side, I am going to distribute the Q. So I'll be having 2Q Q 
cube. So two cube cube plus thirty six q squared. So everything is being multiplied by q minus one thousand six hundred q. Mm, multiply this, the Q will cancel, so I'll have minus 20. Now the subtraction sign affects what I have here. So there's going to be a change of sign. So this becomes minus 2 cube, and the next one becomes minus 36 Q square, followed by the minus sign turns to a plus 1600 Q. And then the next one would be plus 20. Now to continue, we have cancellation. And 10Q uh, squared minus 36Q squared, that's minus 26Q squared. And 1000Q plus 1600Q, that is 2600Q. Then I have plus 20. This represents our profit function and uh, to find our marginal profit we have to differentiate this. So that will give me P prime. So P prime is equal to minus now 2 times 26. So that's minus 52 and then you subtract 1 from the power so we just have Q and then differentiate this, I have 26,000. Remember I need it when profit is maximum. So the next step is to equate this to be equal to zero and solve for Q. So I have minus 52 Q plus 2,600 equals zero. And then solving, carrying this over, so I have minus 52 Q is equal to 2,600, but it's negative 2,600. And dividing both sides by minus 52. So Q will be positive. So the minus 52 cancels. And dividing this, I will get 50. So Q is equal to 50, and that is the level of output. Now, just to ensure that it's at its maximum, we find the second derivative of this, and that is negative 52. And getting a negative value tells me that it's maximum. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.